If your goal is to build rounded and defined shoulders as well as strong abs, then you are in the right place because this workout is going to help you do just that. We have a variety of exercises today to target the front, the lateral, and the rear deltoid as well as your abs and obliques. And the only thing you need will be your dumbbells. We're gonna get right into our workout. If you wanna start your watch, you can do that. First exercise today is going to be a shoulder press. So grab heavy dumbbells and let's do this. All right, bringing the weights up, we go in five seconds. Slight bend in the knee here, and let's press. Slow and controlled with your weights up and down. And if you're going heavy enough, you will have to go pretty slow to keep good form and get that weight all the way up, controlling it all the way down. Over halfway, nice job. Ooh, awesome. Working for 20 minutes today, but I'm telling you what, we are gonna work the shoulders and the abs oh so good. Ooh, this is the last one. Take a nice little breather. We're gonna go right back into that. So to know if you're going heavy enough and to make sure that you're really maximizing this workout, by the last two, three, four reps, say the last 12, eight seconds, getting that weight up should be very challenging. That's how you know you're going heavy enough. But we've gotta begin again, last time for shoulder press. Here we go. Make sure your knees are not locking out in your stance, whether you have a staggered stance like I'm in now, or you can even take a wider, wider stance, whatever gives you the most comfort and support for this exercise. And really think about the shoulders doing the work. So don't think about squatting down to press the weight up. And don't bring your shoulders up towards your ears as you press either. So nice, relaxed shoulders. And we press up. Good. We've got time, one more. Last one. You got it. Whew. Nice job, bring it down. Next exercise, I'm calling this snow angels. There's a, there are quite a few names for it, but palms are gonna be out, we're gonna be all the way down, we're gonna take it all the way up. So you know when you're, you're in the snow and you've got your snow angel arms going, that's what we're working on. Challenging exercise, so make sure weight is appropriate for this, and let's begin. Good. Just a very slight bend in the elbow with this one. Up and around. Good, so it's like you're making a big circle with your arms here. Breathing. Couple more reps. Actually, last rep. Nice job. That is a tough one. And really you don't get too many reps in because it does take quite a bit of time to get through those. So breathe it out. Again, roll your shoulders down and back. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. So as you're bringing the weights up, you're not bringing the shoulders towards your ears. All right. Last time for this exercise. Here we go. So lead with the thumbs. Up. Ooh, good. And down. So again, like I said, this workout is going to target the front, the lateral, and the rear deltoid, really working the shoulder complex all around today. So take your time with the exercise, control it down. Breathing. One more. This is it. Control it. Good, you've got it. Now we're gonna work bottom to top. So I'm gonna use just one dumbbell for this exercise. We're gonna hold on to the ends of the dumbbell. We're gonna be all the way down at the bottom. Arms are gonna be lifting up. Then we're gonna bend and bring it back down. Going in three seconds, two, here we go. Lift it straight up, all the way to the top, and back to the bottom. Bottom, here we go. 
up to the top. This one really helps target that front deltoid. Oh, breathing. Over halfway. Still keeping that slight bend in your knees. 10 seconds. Good. We'll just do one more short recovery and then we'll hit our second set through for that one. Shake it out if you need to. 10 seconds and we go. So we have two rounds today. This first round, we're almost done with our shoulder exercises. Last set for shoulders. Then we're gonna start targeting the abs. But here we go, bottom to top. Up and down, good. So we'll have three shoulder exercises per round. Two ab exercises per round. All the way up and down, good. Over halfway. Feeling the core a little bit on this one too. So make sure you're keeping your abs engaged with this one. Last one. And down to the bottom. Nice job. Now we're gonna bring it onto the mat for plank shoulder taps. So some of these ab exercises are still gonna be working the shoulders. That's why I, I love the shoulder and abs combo because you can really work both. So shoulder taps modification is on your knees, feet a little bit wider than hip width, and here we go. Tap it out. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the legs. And as those arms come up and back down, make sure shoulders, elbows, wrists all in line. Over halfway, keep it strong, you've got it. Breathing. Come on, almost there. And last one. Oh, nice. You can press it back, push it back for a second, rest it out, break's gonna go by quick. We've got less than 15 seconds. We do that again. I'm telling you what, you can feel that in the abs. Make sure when you're doing that, you're not letting your hips rise up or sag down. If you find that's happening, pop it on your knees and keep those abs strong. That'll really help build those core muscles up so you can be on your toes the entire time. Here we go. You're doing it, come on. Over halfway, keep it strong. Keep pushing through. The goal is right there in front of us. Stronger shoulders, stronger abs, and that's what you're doing. So make it count. And one, nice, breathe it out. Next exercise, we're gonna go into a dead bug. Now optional, which will also help work the shoulders and increase the resistance to your core and abs is going to be using dumbbells. Now modification, you're just gonna hold that position. If not, you're gonna alternate the legs. So here we go. And up. Thumb is in the lead if you're using those dumbbells. So that thumb is heading towards the ground. Keeping that low back pressed into the mat as well. Super important here. If you find your low back starting to go up, don't take your leg down quite as low. Same thing if you're just holding dead bug. Think about pressing your low back into the mat as well. And one, nice. 
Breathe it out. We're gonna do that again. Oh, you can set the weights down. <sighs> Breathing. <sighs> okay, let's get ready to go again because we've got about five seconds. So get those legs up 90 degrees first, arms straight ahead, not straight ahead, straight up. And let's begin. So alternate or just hold that position, keeping that low back pressed into the mat. And up, good. Exhale as you come back up. We're halfway. Slow and controlled as you move through this. Last one. You've got it. Come on. Yes. Oh, awesome. We've made it to that halfway mark in between rounds one and two. So you get a little bit of a longer recovery. Grab a drink, dry off if you need to. And we're gonna get ready for our next exercise, which is going to be back to working our shoulders. So we're gonna bring it up standing for this next exercise. Let me get my dumbbells out of the way. And the next exercise we're going into is an open close shoulder press. So first, well, close to open. So we're gonna be closed, we're gonna bring it open, then we're gonna go into the shoulder press. So similar to the Arnold press, but I really want you to make it nice and slow to come open. So think of each move individually there as you work through it. So nice and slow, grab your dumbbells, and here we go. So we're closed. We work it open, hold it, press it up, back down, good. Close it back up and open and press. Good. Close it up. So we're Arnold press, we're a little bit more smooth in the motion here. I want you to think about it. So we're holding it halfway. We're closing it up, palms facing, hold it. Open it back up, last one. Press and down. Nice job, rest it out. We'll do that once more through. <sighs> Breathing. All right, we've gotta go again in five seconds. So grab your dumbbells, same thing. Take it nice and slow, palms facing you, and let's begin. So open it up nice and slow. Hold it, press it. I feel like the theme today is nice and slow. <laughs> really holding each position here with this to keep that muscle under tension. <sighs> Challenging the shoulders in a variety of ways. <sighs> Breathing, good. Almost there. Come on, we're just about 10 seconds. All right, this is gonna be it. Close it up and one. Nice job. Now we're going into a bent arm side lateral raise. So we're gonna keep those arms about 90 degrees, lifting and lowering, we go in 10 seconds. Really gonna work the lateral deltoid with this one. That's that middle part of your shoulder, the part that really makes that rounded look. So let's begin, here we go. Nice bent arm. Palms coming about parallel to the floor here. I like to think about leading with my elbows coming up towards the ceiling and not my hands, because we don't want to be, we're not doing this. We're working just like this. So you don't want your arms to, or your hands to open up in this move. So staying flat to the floor. Good, breathing almost there. Last one, good. Once more through. Shake it out if you need to. 10 seconds we go. 
We are getting close. We have one shoulder exercise after this. So challenge yourself. Make sure you're going heavy enough for these last couple of exercises. All right, here we go. Again, working through this nice and slow. Exhale on the way down. Same thing, keep your shoulders rolled down and back. So as you lift up, you don't want your shoulders coming up. Nice and relaxed, and we lift. 15 seconds. Good. Almost there. Last one. Yes, nice. Whew, I'm gonna set the weights down for a second. Shake it out. We are going into our rear delt fly. This is gonna work that small muscle in the, the back of the shoulder muscle, the rear delt, hence the name rear delt fly. <laughs> but we're gonna go in four seconds, so make sure you've got that challenging weight. And let's do this. So back flat, core engaged and fly it up. Think about squeezing right here at the top. Squeeze, good. And we're not swinging the weights up, we're controlling them, we're contracting those muscles to get the weights up. Leading with the pinkies. So pinkies are heading towards the ceiling. Palms are facing your body. And that wall behind you as you bring them up. Whew, almost. <sighs> One more. And up. Good. Last time for shoulders. Shake it out. Last time for that rear delt fly. <sighs> this is super challenging exercise for me. I think because it works the back and you know, well, if you've worked out with me before, <laughs> back muscles are so challenging for me to work. So. Super challenging exercise, but super important exercise for a well-rounded shoulder. So we've got to go last time through. Here we go. And squeeze. Neck is nice and neutral as well. Slight bend in the arm too as you come up. So it's not a completely straight arm. Over halfway. I know we're getting, we're getting close. We're getting tired. Make sure you keep good form all the way through. Back is flat, core engaged. Time for one more. Come on, last one, best one. Oh yeah, you did it. All right, now we're gonna bring it down. Finishing out with our abs. This round for abs, really gonna target the oblique. So bring it onto the mat. You'll see a modification on screen as well. We're gonna do two different moves. We're gonna do a leg lift and a leg pull. So here we go. Pull it in and up, good. Pull and lift. Now with that modification, that bottom leg is down. Knee is a little bit more bent, but I still want modification or not, we're squeezing right here, the obliques. So really think about squeezing, good. And up on your forearm and elbow here. And up, good, really get that crunch and then that squeeze. So we crunch and we squeeze. Couple more reps. One more of each and squeeze, good. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Same thing, same side. Burn's gonna be a little bit more intense second time through, it's just a warning. There's your warning. You've probably caught on to that by now. Oh my, I'm trying to encourage myself right now. All right, so legs up or bottom leg down, here we go. And squeeze, crunch it out, squeeze it up. That leg up is intensifying the core work just a little bit more. And if that leg's not up, I'm telling you what, you just keep on going. You are gonna get there before you know it. Oh, 
Well, I guess you know what the last exercise is gonna be, right? <laughs> Same thing, other side. You know what to expect, and you gotta stick it out because we gotta make sure both sides are even. Last one. Oh, good. Oh, my. I might be feeling that tomorrow. Yay. I'm excited about that. All right, so same thing, that modification with the leg down or both legs up on that. What side are we on? Well, right or left side, depending on which leg, side you started on. Here we go. So we crunch and squeeze. Exhale with the crunch and then again with the squeeze. So take your time, hold it there for a second with that exhale. Good. Oh yeah, 15 seconds. Crunch, almost there, come on, five seconds. Keep it strong. Last one, yes. Oh. Oh my goodness, one more time. So close, 45 seconds of work, less than a minute to go now until we have made it to the stretch. Breathing, you rocked it. Oh my goodness, I'm telling you what. Stronger shoulders, stronger abs, they're coming. And squeeze, good. Is your face reflective of the burn? I know mine is right now. <laughs> Even my voice is shaking. Oh, we love it. Come on, we're doing it. This is awesome, almost there. Again, 15 seconds. Come on, right until the very end. And one. Oh my word, stretch that out. I wanna say, you are the bomb. That was a super tough abs and shoulders workout, but I'm telling you, your hard work will pay off. Keep pressing play, keep kicking butt. Do not forget to get a stretch. I will see you over there for that stretch. Know that I love you so much, and I wanna thank you for being there. See you for the stretch.